Now I would like to invite Mr. Ashok Bhasin, Head Digitization Hero Motor Corp to join us on stage and share his insights on driving business growth through marketing effectiveness. I request you, sir, to please join us on stage. The evening has just begun, ladies and gentlemen. You can do a better round of applause. Thank you. A very warm welcome to you. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what you did to injure yourself. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, thank you, Anurag, for the very warm introduction to the evening. And I see lovely friends and fellow colleagues from the jury as well. And I can absolutely vouch for it, Anurag, that uh, we didn't try to be honest. I think we were just being ourselves. And I saw somewhere that this is the toughest jury. I don't know how, what the benchmark is. But yes, the intention was to be real, because this is about real people, real marketing, real advertising, real business. And it is about real awards. Uh, that morning when Anurag sort of kicked off uh, the morning, he spoke uh, very briefly like he did today. So man of few words, but a lot of achievements. And he said, look, uh, this is about the awards, and this is the jury, and uh, it's about you people, and we will now be out of the room. And absolutely, apart from the lunch break, where also he kept a very brief interaction with us, sort of how you, uh, how, what, what, what time is your flight and where are you going? They absolutely stayed clear of it. I think uh, that's wonderful on Arag, Naval, and the entire team to keep it that way. Not that if you tried, we would have got influence, but I think it speaks volumes of what you are trying to achieve as a mission. And the fact that several of us uh, from reasonably preoccupied jobs were here uh, that day and including today, uh, it is because we see an honesty of purpose here. So thank you very much for that. And, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. I'll keep it brief. So the mission was delivering business growth through marketing effectiveness. Uh, there is so much that can be said about it, but I will keep it brief to a few points that I want to underline. Nothing that I'm going to say is going to be new. Uh, nothing that I'm going to say is going to be radical. Some of it would be known to you, and you say, why did he have to repeat it? But it would be repeated because in my judgment and experience, it is worth the reiteration. Second, it would be because we may think it is true, but this ain't affect me. Yeah, why industry when you ah, yeah, this is good. This, this, this is for those FMCG guys, or this is for those durable guys. This is happening in telecom, and this is happening in automobiles, and this is happening in two-wheelers. The most important thing is I would just like to edit Anurag the title, and I know that must be the intention. I think the first thing is it is not about driving business growth. And I see senior investors and stakeholders like Mr. Rai who've built companies and businesses across sectors, and several of you. Uh, it is about driving profitable business growth. Business growth can be accomplished, and we can see several examples of that. So the first thing, please read the word profitable before you think business growth is the end goal. It is about profitable business growth. Of course, sometimes the profits don't come in year one, sometimes they don't come in year three, but they have to come. They have to come soon enough to pay for everybody, including all of you in marketing. The second is very important. And we went through this when we went through the jury. This is about marketing effectiveness. And this is much beyond advertising and media. Advertising and media plays an important role. But as all of us know, marketing is a lot more. It is about the product, the price, the distribution, and all of those things. And the most important thing eventually is about effectiveness. I was born in the age when Televisions were moving from black and white to color, and it was about broadcasting. The word that I learned was broadcasting. I think from that, we have reached a stage today, the more you can narrow cast, the more you can narrow cast, the more likely you are to be talking to the right consumer at the right time with the right message, and almost certainly, hopefully, with the right cost, unless you're getting swung by this very sexy media property of the new age called the YouTube masthead. 
I have certainly signed on YouTube masters at a certain cost at a certain stage a few years ago. Today I see a huge amount of, uh, sorry for my words, but an advertising marketing person's greed. Our campaign had a YouTube master. Guys, if it doesn't make sense, please don't do it. It's costing a few million rupees now. Think about whom you want to talk to and how you want to talk to. So I think we have to get into narrow casting. The third thing is, if profitable business growth has to be driven, it is not about consumers and categories. And I go back to the first point that I said, that we say, this is not our industry, this is their industry. Let me give you an example live from the industry that I'm currently a part of. And I would say two things here. First is about our industry mein hota hai ke and the second is about is it about product or is it about something else? So in the automobile industry, the worldwide, some by confession, some by necessity, and some by at least cocktail circuit conversation, do recognize that the three largest disruptors of automobile business in one form or the other is not General Motors, it's not Ford, it's not Volkswagen. In some form or shape, it is Tesla. In some form or shape, it is Apple. In some form or shape, it is Google. Who would have thought that? When it happened to cameras, from Kodak to digital, we thought that was the end of it. And then something came like a camera on the phone. The whole category wiped out. Then it happened to music on the phone. Category gone. It's happening to automobiles. The other related point is distinguish between product, service, and solution. If you stay very focused on your product all the time, there is a high risk. It's not a guarantee, but there is a high risk that in today's world, you will make a mistake of either missing the bus or boarding the bus at a high cost or boarding the bus and the bus doesn't go too far and you reached 100 meters and the world moved on. It's about solutions. I know it's not yet happening to Hershey's chocolates, but in a lot of product categories, it's about the consumption of the service. There is a huge wave, huge wave of moving from ownership to consumption. In a large room of this nature, a few months ago, of extremely talented young people, I asked, and there were 20 plus something, so most of them are probably Anurag and, you know, Mr. Bhalla's age, but not mine. And the question I asked is, how many of you own a two-wheeler? Hardly any hands went up. So it prevented me from the next question, how many of you own a hero because I want to get my market share. But coming back to the point, how many of you have a driving license? Let me assure you, when I crossed the age of 18, the first thing I was trying to run for was somehow to get a driving license. Several of the youngsters are not even looking for that license. They would, they would look for mobility solutions which would come without owning an asset, which would come without owning a driving license, which would be without owning a two-wheeler, which would be without owning a car. So what does it mean for the market share? There is this huge uh, example going on of uh, you know, cross-category competition, et cetera, which is about shared services. But let me talk of another aspect which in marketing I think is more important today than ever before. And I know I have a Volkswagen colleague from the industry here. And that is about the C, not of the consumer, not of a, it's about collaboration. The future money spinning is not going to come out of products. Automobile industry is already talking about money from services, not the repair workshop. Because as the electric vehicles come, the repair incidents is going to come up, number of moving parts will be few, dealers are already thinking what will happen to the workshop. It's about services. The critical thing is, how are you going to collaborate? I don't know if several of you have heard of Volvo, the Swedish brand, one of their most important collaborations most recently is Volvo with Amazon. And this is about the in-car delivery. You hit the app, 
You order your groceries, which in any case, the app knows from artificial intelligence and machine learning and all of that. And it knows your car. It has the code. You're working. The delivery boy from Amazon comes, delivers your two cans of milk, six eggs, Hershey's ketchup, a couple of other products thrown in, locks. You get the delivery notice. You're done. It's in-car delivery. This is about Amazon and Volvo. Would we have thought Panasonic? A digital mobility company is today doing a business of about seven to ten billion dollars just with automobile companies. Panasonic. When I started my career, it was about televisions. It was about Panasonic, uh, those rice cookers, and today they are in the car. So I think profitable growth, narrow casting, solutions, not products. Think of money beyond the product to be made, services, not by milking the consumer, but by addressing needs. And then think about the ROI of all of that. And lastly, do remember, and this will come out of not because anything in this world has become easier, but it has become significantly easier to experiment. We all know the compute power, right? The compute power on my whatever iPhone 7, not even 8, 10. It's probably more than the first computer that we ever worked on, right? It is. Compute power is high, data storage is uh, like virtually free. Abdul, virtually free. What's happening with that? The compute power is coming right where you are. I haven't had the courage to get a Google Home or an Alexa or something in my home because I'm dreading if it comes, there is a likelihood that the level of conversation that me and other members of my family will individually and collectively have with Alexa will certainly be more than the conversation that my child has with me or my wife probably will have with me. But imagine the amount of mining that Alexa is able to do. The kind of movie you ask for, the kind of show that you ask for, that your wife actually wants to go for the afternoon, that the child actually is looking for which bar, it has all of that. It has all of that. So marketing is about leveraging all of these things. It has become easier to experiment, and therefore, please, raise the level of experimentation. And guys, I'm talking very little about advertising because it is normally the, uh, I would say, over-positioned element in the marketing mix. And I know you're all advertising cats, so less I try to say anything about it, better, because I learned from you. As we learned at the jury, looking at some very fine work. Please experiment. But as they say, please try, try more, fail fast, but please try to fail cheap. Something ain't working out. Skunk works and clay modeling is the in thing. You can't get it perfect. You try to make it perfect, the ROI will not work out. It'll take three years. If you got 80, 90 percent right, go to the market, model it, try it, experiment it, and see what happens. And then from there, if you can fail forward, which is really learning from whatever didn't work, that would be brilliant. A classic case of what I call, and I'm making a very bold statement here because I want to be provocative to myself and to, you, to all of you. Let me give you the example of the automobile industry to, towards the closing. So every month in this country, which has only 35-40% penetration of two-wheelers, almost two million two-wheelers get sold. There is enough data to say that the average conversion rate in two-wheelers, and I know the car's number are slightly different, but I'm just taking the example of two-wheelers because it sounds bigger and sexier, Average conversion rate is 25 to 30 percent, which means for every two million consumers who bought, in the most liberal definition, there were only six million who were even seriously considering, evaluating, assessing, moving on the predisposition curve to perhaps eventually consuming. Six million. There is research, clear research, that most people at least in two-wheelers, enter the category active search phase only about three months before actual buying. Most people now visit a store only 1.2 times. This used to be five times. So one store visit, that's your opportunity to convert. 
They probably make one or two calls to your call center, on which all companies say we are raising our spend on digital, on true caller, on cloud telephony, and I can bet, pick up 10 websites, pick up that dial number, and it will say, your call is important to us, and then it will go back to some kind of English, your call is important to us, your call is important to us. And you don't hear a human voice, you don't hear a chatbot, you don't hear nobody. Call ends. 55% is the drop rate of average calls, call centers of top 100 companies in most cases. If 6 million were in the search phase, an average three months, at most, the entire two-wheeler industry should be trying to talk to at any point in time. No more than 6 into 2 equal to 12. That's the only people you need to talk to, and the rest of the people need some kind of air cover of reinforcement, etc. But what's happening? We are talking to billions of people. So it is about narrow casting, it is about profitable, it is about experimenting, and please reinvent the business model, the business solutions, how you will make money, how you will get your customer engaged. Otherwise, the customer that you are acquiring is actually not going to spend a lot of their wallet, whereas actually if you work on that consumer, there is a lot of stuff that can be done in all product categories, in cross-sell, upsell, depth of consumption, more chocolates, more drops per glass of milk, etc., etc. So those are my few key thoughts. The jury was extremely interesting. I won't say more to it. And uh, I can tell you that some of the awards were uh, consciously discussed and debated and not given because in many cases, the issue identification was right. Strategy in most cases was not too off, but the connection between what good, great work we saw of advertising with the brand, Harjit, was missing. So what's the brand connect? What's the, how, how is it working for your business? What's the business outcome? So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Fail fast, fail cheap, fail forward, and eventually succeed and make money for whoever your stakeholder is. Good luck and thank you very much. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye.